Welcome to the meat recap. I'm just going to be talking about a bunch of things related to this meat. It went very, very well. But before we're going to go into how much I lifted and how I was feeling throughout, I just want to bring up a couple extra points. One is that my program review, I wasn't, haven't been releasing uh, any videos of that for the last week or so. It's because I wanted to keep my RP9s hidden from the world. Not really that that matters. But I will be bringing back a final program review in about a week. And then the second thing is that I had no handler here. Um, my handler, I did prepare to have one, but he unfortunately had a funeral to attend. So uh, I was handling myself. So I picked all my numbers. So we're gonna start out with squat. Uh, I knew my squat has been going very well the entire prep. So I was really excited to hit a nice PR. Right after there, you could see me say, let's go. Uh, I knew a PR was on the works for today. So I loaded up with 450. I stayed conservative. I think I could have gone up to 455, but this one was a grinder anyways. I'm, a, I'm not upset uh, with the loss of like two and a half kilograms. So it is what it is. And I'm actually happy because I think doing an all out RP 10 on squats, which is definitely was hard, but it was not all out RP 10. If I did an all out RP 10 on squats right away, I don't think that would have worked well in my favor for the rest of the competition. Next, we've moved on to bench. Um, pretty much PRs all out here. I was thinking about going on my second attempt, a PR, but after the first one, how it moved, just didn't feel perfect, um, which is which is okay. You know, it things like that happen. I was a little tired. I water cut super low. I was at 80.6 kilograms for an 83 kilogram class. Um, and I, I definitely, I'll tell you during my squat warmups, I definitely felt a little dehydrated. So through everything, I think it was okay. I very much went out there and performed the best that I could for that day. Um, you see the opener moved pretty decently. Uh, second attempt, I'm pretty sure I chose 270. Um, thinking I had it. There's a backstory to the third one. I'm going to tell you right here, I got this second one. The third one, I was looking at um, this other guy in my weight class. His name is Leo Boykin. Congrats to him because he did end up winning. Um, and I was trying to chase him down and he has a bet better bench than me and a better squat than me. So I was looking at seeing maybe if I put on an extra two and a half kilograms on my final bench, um, if that would help. But Unfortunately, I submitted uh, 275, if I'm not mistaken, for my last attempt. You're going to see this one moves very tight. And right after here, I'm like, okay, I'm only going to go up a little bit. But then I was like, maybe I should go up a little bit more and just risk it to try to um, compete a little bit more, you know, not have to pull as much on deadlifts. But unfortunately, they didn't allow me to change it. Apparently, you're only allowed to change your attempts on your last deadlift, pretty much the last lift in the whole competition. So I was stuck with 125. Not the worst thing in the world. You're going to see here, it's an absolute grinder. And the middle ref is going to call an up and down. I don't know how the side refs didn't see it, but it very much is an up and down for bench. So I got very lucky with the outcome of this one here. Um, I'm going to move on to deadlifts. You, you guys could keep on watching here. But deadlifts was very tough. Um, the warmups felt really great whatsoever but i knew that if i wanted to try to catch leo boykin i would have to make a massive jump on my third attempt and i didn't want to hide i didn't want to reveal anything so i'll tell you my first and second were very light went very very easy i got like i went for 475 and then like 505 you're gonna see this is either my first or second i'm not sure why uh, the quality is so bad for here but I, and i have no clue what the weight is because of that but it is what it is um it was an okay attempt. It went well. I knew I was going to have to make a big jump. And uh, sadly, I, I I really put in, in all out. My all-time PR was 240 kilograms. I had to pull 247 kilograms. And I'm going to let you see what happens. Next, hope you enjoy. Come on! 
So just a big thank you to my friends for recording that. Uh, it, it really puts into perspective how much of a pull it was. That was a 15 pound PR if I got it. So really pulling all out to try to win it. I had a lower body weight than Leo, so I really would have tied him and won that competition. But you know, the strength wasn't there. And honestly, I hadn't had it in prep. So saying I expected it is very unreasonable. Very happy with the outcome of the competition though. I really went out there and performed my hardest. And uh, yeah, I will be training again for another competition. Uh, not soon, but definitely in the future. See you guys. Peace.